I remember back to my third birthday when my whole family was together. That was one of the times that my dad was there, my mom was there, my grandmother, all of my family, and that was one of the happiest times that I remember farthest back. But there was very few times that we were all together like that. Things started to fall apart and my mom had, was in and out of rehabs. Four years off and on, she would be clean for six months. She would be messed up again. Clean for four months, messed up again. In and out of rehabs, using AA and NA, trying to do the best she can to stay clean for me and my brother. My brother lived with us as well. With a couple of DUIs that she had accumulated over the years, it was either you're going to jail for a while or you're going back to rehab and every day in rehab equates to a certain amount of time in jail. So she went with the rehab option. At that point, my brother had already met somebody that he fell in love with and they moved to Pennsylvania. So it was just my mom and I. Uh, I didn't know where I was gonna live. Kevin and Kelly, my Young Life leaders, actually decided to take me out to lunch. They wanted to know what was going on in my life, what was I upset about, was there anything they could do to help? And Kelly looks at me and says, how about you come live with us? So I lived with Kevin and Kelly from November of 2010 to May of 2012, so a year and a half. That was from the beginning of my junior year of high school until the end of my senior year. The, that year and a half was some of the best time of my life. Kevin and Kelly were so good to me. They were so gracious and they listened and they wanted to learn more about my life. And I saw so much of God in that time of my life. After I graduated, my mom at that point was doing really well. She had been clean since November of 2010. I moved in with my mom in May of 2012. My mom was one of my best friends and she always had been. So I was excited about this new adventure, being out of school and uh, being able to learn more about her and more about myself and get a job. Our family was back together again. She made a good relationship with my aunt. She was helping take care of my grandmother. She was caring for her while she had Alzheimer's disease. And she was still clean at that point, doing really well, and was thriving for her mom. When we had to take Mima in full time was when things changed a little. We actually moved from an apartment in Leonardtown and we had to move to Hughesville on family property to take care of my grandmother. When my uncle moved in, things got a little rough. We were trying to figure out how it was gonna work having a struggling addict in the house with my mom who was trying to stay clean. She was an addict herself. We had two addicts in the house, one currently using, one's trying to be clean, stay clean. She was already clean for four years at that point and take care of an Alzheimer patient. Things started to get stressful when my uncle continued to use. He started to bring alcohol into the house and drink right there with, in front of my mom. And my mom hadn't touched anything, hadn't touched alcohol or drugs in four years. And she was trying desperately not to. And she did a great job. The strength I saw in her was amazing. I, and I knew that it was God given. My mom was trying to conquer the world and do all the things that she felt like she didn't do that she should have done in the years before. I saw my mom start to break down and really feel overwhelmed with all the things she was trying to take on. On December 23rd, I got a call from my uncle saying that my mom never came home the night before. At that point, I knew that she had messed up. She had relapsed. She never got over the fact that she had messed up five years clean. So we had to make a decision as a family 
minus my mom being involved and say that it was time for Mima to go into a nursing home. When we made that decision, that's when I saw my mom fall apart. My mom's eyes have always been, it's pretty blue, and they've always told a story. And that day, the story was failure. That Monday, when I was driving home from work, after trying to call her and text her multiple times throughout the day, check on her and see how she's doing, I called her on the way home, and my uncle answers the phone. And he says, Amy, your mom is not doing well. You should be here. Your brother and you should be here. She should not be by herself. And he starts yelling and cussing at me and saying, this is not good. You should call an ambulance. You need to be here. Then my step-grandmother, He's young, she's Korean, she's my step-grandmother. She lived in the main house on that family property that my mom was living in. And she ended up going up to the house because she saw the emergency vehicles coming in. She gives me a call while we're on our way there. And when I heard her voice, I knew that my mom had died. After my mom started using in December of 2015, my um, soon-to-be father-in-law was concerned and he was talking to me about possibly using Stephen Ministry as a tool to help me get through this. At first, I was a little weary of it because I didn't like the idea of being counseled again. I didn't enjoy the counseling I had in the past and he said, why don't you just check it out? Why don't you give it a chance? Maybe it's not like counseling. So I met with the leader of Stephen Ministry and he connected me to a woman that was able to meet with me once a week. And it ended up being a lot less intimidating than counseling. It was just somebody to talk to, um, to tell her what's going on in my life. Um, and she listened and loved me and we had coffee together and uh, I really appreciated the time I had with her. I went and visited with her once a week all the way through when my mom started using to her death. And Stephen Ministry, being in that and having somebody love on me through the whole process was more powerful than I had realized at the time. God gives me peace knowing that He's gonna be there for me and that He loves me more than my mom, my dad, my grandmother, my f husband, anybody ever could. And that peace helps me get through every day 